the D's make it two from two. They are going to be hard to beat in 2018. Welcome back to Women's Footy D-Light at Melbourne because they are undefeated right now and tracking absolutely beautifully, talked up as Premiership favourites at the start of the season and they're certainly remonstrating that right now. Kate Hoare rejoins us on the panel. Uh, Kate, it must have been a great day at Casey yesterday. Yeah, we were um, pretty happy with our performance yesterday. Obviously we knew Adelaide were going to come out hard searching for their first win of the season. Um, so we're prepared for that, prepared for a battle. Um, we obviously know they're a very physical team. I think they, that was their trademark probably last year. So, yeah, we were really happy to come away with the win. And that's how it panned out, of course. The Demons 8-8-56, beating the Crows four straight, 24. An impressive performance, Lauren. It was an absolutely blistering performance. Abby mentioned before, those three names in the midfield, of course, Karen Paxman, Elise O'Day and Daisy Pearce. They're just an absolute machine in there and really get things going. And obviously, you know, some great performances in front of goal. You chipped in with 20 disposals of your own. Kate, it must have felt pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I was just out there playing my role for the team. Um, yeah, just got lucky enough to get my hands on it a few times. Um, but yeah, I guess the win's all that counts. Talk us through the celebration. We saw some vision just before. It was almost a song before a song. What was that one? Oh, so um, in our uh, pre-season um, campaign, I guess, we, uh, we did some work with some African drummers. Um, and yeah, so after, after our song, we chant the, the Barjo uh, theme song, which means uh, all together, basically. There you go. Uh, how have you rated your season so far, of course, pre-season, now two matches in, uh, all tracking nicely? Yeah, I mean, obviously we're pretty happy with a 2-0 and start. Um, you can't obviously get much better than that, but um, I think at the same time, because it's such a short competition, you know, one or two losses in a row um, can really change your season. So while we're happy where we are at the moment, um, we definitely feel like we've got a lot of improvement in our game. Um, and yeah, so we'll, we'll keep building throughout the season. And the improvement for you personally, um, what, have, what have you been working on? Um, I think being new to the game, um, it's just uh, getting an understanding of the game. Um, I've been really working on my education uh, side of things and then, yeah, just keep building my skills, keep building my knowledge. Mm, we just saw some of your highlights there from yesterday, Kate, but talk us through Karen Paxman. She's really building a name for herself in Season 2 of the AFLW. She was the leading disposal getter for the Ds yesterday with 21. What's it like playing alongside her? Yeah, absolutely. Paxie's a, Paxie's a superstar. She just always has a knack for being at the back of the pack and um, as soon as you need that release handball, she just seems to be there. So, yeah, she's an absolute superstar of the game and uh, I'm, I'm glad to have her on my team. <laughs> she had some issues uh, last week with the back, this back spasms, and she's A-OK -okay after that? Yeah, yeah. So I think she's yeah, suffering from back spasms last week, but um, yeah, she put in an enormous amount of work uh, this week as well as the medical staff and um, got up for the game and uh, yeah, yeah, we were very, very wrapped to have her out there yesterday. Hey, another basketball convert and a lady that you know all too well is, is Tegan Cunningham. Um, how have you two gone together coming from that background? Do you, do you sort of lean on each other? Yeah, definitely. Um, Teagues has been awesome at the club. Um, she's a great personality um, and yeah, it's just got uh, such, such a willingness to learn um, and I think uh, we, we really work off well, well off each other um, and yeah, we've got a good bond both on and off the field. You being a, a former hoop star, um, <laughs> what, just t why, did you, why did you decide to make that transition into footy? Um, I think I'd, just because I could see a pathway, um, obviously with the AFLW um, coming in, I was just, yeah, I think I'd, I'd just kick myself if I didn't have a go at it. So, um, yeah, just the pathway there for girls um, just really, yeah, really got me in. Do you find that much of your basketball, you know, ability translates onto the footy field? We've seen netballers and hockey players and volleyball, you know, use some of their skills on the footy field. Do you find that, you know, whether it's aerobic capacity or something like that, that helps you on the footy field? Yeah, definitely. I found a lot of similarities just in terms of the game style, um, obviously the skills, which I think is why I've seen a lot of basketball uh, cross coders. Um, there's obviously some differences in terms of the fitness and the physicality. They're probably the two main differences. But um, yeah, there's, there's lots of sim similarities. Uh, lots of the terminology is the same. So it's definitely been a help. Time now to look at our Victoria Police Recruit of the Year. Of course, want to lead teams, challenge yourself and help others join Victoria Police. Apply now. And Lauren Wood, it is none other than Bianca Jacobson. Yeah, that's right. She, of course, made the move over from the Blues at the end of last season and, and, and played back as well for the Ds at times this year. So she's really uh, she's really making that position her own and absolutely turned it on again at Casey Fields yesterday. So we fear the beard with Max Gorn in the, in the Melbourne jumper, but it's fearing the bar 
done with Bianca. <laughs> she's uh, she's absolutely on fire at the moment and certainly a, uh, a contender for Recruit of the Year, so you must be feeling lucky to have her, Kate. Yeah, definitely. She was awesome yesterday. Took that many intercept marks and, um, yeah, she really leads from our defence into our attack. Uh, Victoria Police is now recruiting. Just make sure you apply right now. Uh, Alicia Newman, uh, terrific <laughs> goal. She's been setting the world on fire, hasn't she? Unbelievable, yeah. Um, her pace is just yeah. ridiculous. Um, she really provides that X factor for us up forward. And yeah, that goal, surely goal of the year. <laughs> yeah, it's just, she's just really, really settled in beautifully. And uh, yeah, and a really impressive performance yesterday. It seems like we're saying this about every Melbourne player, but you all really managed to gel it, put it all together yesterday. And uh, of course, you know, pile on the goals as well. Yeah, I think that's a good thing about us. We're a very well-balanced side and each week someone else different steps up. So, um, yeah. Bianca there in the votes. Five, in fact, I decided to give out these votes. Uh, I don't know how I went here. Karen Paxman, of course, the four, and Daisy Pierce was an absolute rock to um, the Demons. Where can you go this year? Obviously, you're, you're targeting that cup. Um, is it possible? Yeah, I, we, we definitely won't shy away from um, our goal is to win the Premiership Cup, and I think we've uh, set ourselves up well with, with the start that we've had. And um, But, yeah, we've definitely got a lot of improvement in our game, so... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll look to keep improving and yeah, definitely the aim is that Premiership Cup for sure. Let's get a look now at our big four goal of the year. I think that that goal we were talking about before might figure in this, of course, <laughs> big four, the home of great breaks. Lauren, let's start us off with Dana Hooker. Yeah, straight to Perth Stadium for this one. Dana, she was of course Frio's best and fairest last year. She's got those flashy fluoro boots <laughs> and the game to match. This is the next nomination. Nicola Stevens snap on the left. So she played in the back line for Collingwood but she's been pushing up more up the ground for Carlton so great goal there. Yeah and we mentioned Alicia Newman there. Certainly my tip early in the piece we're only a couple of rounds in but very big potential for goal of the year here. A couple of bounces and gee she's absolutely blistering them there. She was really really quick running into that goal and uh, yeah she could she could have the prize at the she end of the year. She was mirroring Buddy Franklin. Yeah, she was. She was. Absolutely. Big four of course isn't it time you took a break in a big four holiday Park. Did Alicia talk much about that goal? Is she telling you all about it? Oh, it she'll, be pretty, she'll be pretty happy about it. I'm sure she watched it a few times last night. <laughs> Good stuff. Hey, thanks so much for joining us and we wish you all the very best for what could be uh, a big few weeks for the Demons. Thanks very much. Thanks very much for having me. Good stuff. So much more to look forward to this morning. On this Sunday morning, your home of AFLW Women's Footy. Back with more after this short break.